Good afternoon and welcome to Nosey Roads and Tellings. On behalf of Micron Video and your Saints Video, we're joined again due to the game being televised on Sky this evening and obviously we're poo-pooed to the director's box at Nosey Road. But it's a good spec. Warrington the team out first on the pitch, but uh, here come the Saints. Jonathan Griffiths is the captain again and today's match day mascot is uh, Sarah Hayes, six and a half years of age she is. She attends Nutgrove Methodist and her hobbies are dancing, reading and watching the Saints. And a big day for this young lady, she's out there with her a, a favourite. Her favourite player is David Lyon, unfortunately David is injured and she's been on the pitch earlier on having a photograph taken with Paul Buckling. Anyway, the Saints aside for this afternoon, Phil Beavers at fullback, Steve Prescott, Ian Pickervance, Paul Lachlan and Andy Hager the three quarters, Griffiths and O'Donnell the half-back purring with Janet, Hodgkinson and Harrison in the front row, Joint Nickel and Casey the back three, McAtee and Riley are the subs. The Warrington side, Lee Penny at full-back, Forster, Bateman, Davis and Myler the three-quarters, Ellis and Mackey the half-back pairing, with Chambers, Thursfield and Phillips the front row, Derbyshire, Gregory and Shelford the back three, Elliot and Hilton on the bench. Captains there, centre-field, John Griffiths and uh, Greg uh, Mackey, Greg Mackey, Bill, captain yep. for Warrington, yes. Yep. And uh, the match day mascot today is Sarah Hayes, young lady there, out with the, the match day referee for today, John Connolly. So a big day for young Sarah, six and a half years of age. She'll uh, obviously relish this, uh, the chance to be out there with her favourites. Anyway, as I said, we're joint with uh, Micron, and joining me this afternoon, I've Bill, the Warrington commentator, just as, as Sarah comes over here to our commentary position today, but well, obviously top, top of the league, Bill, and uh, looking forward to going clear all together this afternoon. Well, it would be nice, Ron. It's going to take a lot of hard work for that to be the case here at Knowsley Road. As long as you've got the likes of Chris Joint and Sonny Nickel, Paul Lachlan knocking about on the park, St. Helens have got plenty of firepower. Brian Johnson on the way here has pointed out to the Warrington Club. It's getting tight at the top of the league. You've got to pull your fingers out to stay there. Warrington under no illusions whatsoever. Got back to winning ways last week against Leeds, but a different day today. Warrington will start the game. Jonathan Davis will kick off. Here's Ron to describe the action. Thanks, Bill. Yes, Saints first to receive, and obviously they've got to uh, pull themselves together after that drubbing, 34 points to two at uh, the Willow Salford uh, last Wednesday. It's going to take a, a big effort with Eric Hughes and his lads to get back. But right in at the action there, Mr Connolly going in and saying the attacker was high. Early penalty, usually, Bill, well, what are we talking about? 20 seconds there and uh, the referee's in. Uh, let's hope he's not a stop-start job. Well, referees are one of my favourite subjects. Uh, these two teams can play good attacking football. Close rivalry, the old derby job. Warrington looking to go top, as you say, cleared on their own. Saints got a bit of a battering in midweek. A lot of blokes out there, Ron, you wouldn't normally see. No bigger motivation than playing for your shirt. Oh, no, there's, uh, there's that about it, Bill, yes. Uh, all positions up for grabs. 
but a terrible injury list the Saints have. And Chris Joint tries to uh, slip it out, but good tackling again, and that's where Saints fell down, in my opinion, the other day, Bill. Uh, unfortunately, the tackling at Salford led a lot to be desired, but Tommy Hodgkinson there, another player that's impressed, slipped in in the uh, hooking position with the injury to Bernard Dwyer, and obviously Gus O'Donnell there, who just uh, chipped the ball up, getting uh, an extended run at uh, the scrum half berth. But all uh, positions up for grabs, but uh, just one of those things, you get the injuries and unfortunately, you, well, you've just got to get on with it, haven't you? But it's Warrington in possession. Thanks, Ron, yeah. Warrington there, breaking the quarter line, finding themselves on the back foot in the early stages. Here's Gary Chambers, back after a five-week absence. He was uh, one of the farm props in the competition when he went away. Ball goes into midfield, that's Greg Mackey for Roland Phillips. Phillips driving it in, ball's come out in the tackle. Mackey flicks it, here's Kelly Shelford. Shelford has a gap, he's attacking O'Donnell. Shelford cuts play, picking up big yardage there. Round of applause comes in from the many Warrington fans. Mike Gregory's fed out for Jonathan Davis. Play developing far side, sun in our eyes. Here in the director's box, ball comes in field. Here's Shelford once again, instigates most of the moves. Mark Foster's chasing his 100th career try for the Warrington club. Safely cleared up at the back by Phil Beavers. Got an obstruction in our way here. Possession for the Saints run. Yes, sir. The, the plan fly, obviously, by Warrington to kick through. But it looks like Andy Haig coming away with the ball. Warrington lad, Andy Haig. From the Crossfields Club, but signed at uh, the uh, end of last season. The ball going back. Well, the referee doesn't say it's gone back. He it says it's gone forward. Knock it. Well, it looks the offside he's given. I don't know, Bill. No, it's a scrum down anyway. It's going to be uh, Warrington feed and uh, Greg Mackey to uh, feed. It uh, did come away with it, but now it's back with Warrington. Thanks, Ron. It's Kevin Ellis going midfield. Sean Casey on the tackle wearing 13. First field goes to acting half. Gary Chambers runs into Chris Joint. Assisted there by John Addison wearing 10. Made his comeback in midweek. Here's Roland Phillips. Breaks the quarter line. Warrington stack deep right. Attacking the end where most of the Warrington supporters are today at Knowsley Road is skipper Greg Mackey. Throws it inside. Mike Gregory. Super tackle comes in there. Saints looking sharp on defence. Kelly Shelford's gone. Throws a ball in field. Bit of a breakdown in communication. Usual 10 stages run, nothing between the two teams. Uh, wouldn't like to put the commentator's tenor on the outcome at this point. <laughs> Where's the tenor coming from, Bill? <laughs> yes, uh, Warrington tried to spread it there. Um, Shelford trying to release it, though it was a bad ball. And uh, Griffiths came in on the uh, tackle, and uh, Warrington came up with the error. Saints uh, get the scrum, uh, the feed from the scrum. And now it's big John Harrison driving forward. Been out for, well, the best part of 12 months, if not even more than 12 months. Uh, a category of, uh, a catalogue, I should say, of injury for John Harrison. Sonny Nickel gets the ball away, Gus O'Donnell. Phil Beavers has it now. Sid spread it quickly over on the far side. Approaching the halfway line, well, uh, the ball released and gone into touch on the far side. As Bill would say, uh, oh, Bill was saying, at the Eddington end, a healthy uh, Warrington travelling uh, spectators and a good uh, crowd all round even though Saints are uh, not having the best of runs in the league with uh, what uh, two defeats uh, two wins I beg your pardon out of the last seven games but uh, a quite uh, healthy crowd and it's going to be a good match irrespective of what happened last week should be uh, Warrington feed Bill yeah looks like it happy to be able to report from Knowsley Road at this stage that uh, both the teams are looking to throw it about, entertain this big crowd that Ron's talking about. Here's Lee Penny. Breaks the half. Tackle coming in there from Jonathan Griffiths. Ball comes short side. Shot for a forward pass. Wasn't. Match officials on top of the job. Roland Phillips then. Three St. Helens players putting an end to the run. Here's Thursfield for Greg Mackey. Mackey will feed Mike Gregory. Gregory turns it inside, Shelford well tackled, Lee Penny has a yard, feeds it out far side, Jonathan Davis showing you his step, 
super tackle John Addison. Things uh, boiling up nicely. Now in the sixth minute, exciting football. Greg Mackey chips it up for Mark Foster. The ball bounces into touch. One of the things you can say about the first division this year on, apart from, say, the league club, no easy games, no gimmies, and you can usually guarantee close fought encounters run. Yes, you can, uh, even though the, uh, the end result hasn't been uh, quite close, uh, Bill, in a lot of occasions, but yes, apart from Lee, but speaking of Lee, Bill, we've got to go there next, next uh, Sunday, and uh, unfortunately, Saints uh, came adrift last season, and I look at it as all oh, uh, that cost Saints the championship. But Saints are in possession, and uh, Paul Lachlan has the ball, and only a, a good performance by the lads today, which will give them a boost, obviously, for the league game next week. Now it's Tommy Hodgkinson moving the ball right. Saints on the break, and Steve Prescott, oh, excellent tackle there on the far side. Rob Myler, I think, that uh, brought him down, but Saints putting the gas pedal down. Can they get early points on the board? O'Donnell, out to Sean Casey, must be a try. Oh, Casey's in. Super try by the Saints. They bring it from one side to the other. But it was a break down that right wing. Rob Myler for Warrington, he completed the tackle on Steve Prescott for a quick transference of the ball. He moved it over from the right wing to the left, created a hole in the Warrington defence, and Sean Casey goes in for his first try of the season. Yeah, thanks, Ron. Super Saints on his try there. Warrington did that last week. They let Leeds score first early on, then ran in 37 points. However, just to start the St. Helens club wanted. And uh, Casey, he's an excellent player. He can play anywhere. Loose forward, I think, is his uh, favourite position. He's a good ball handler, and obviously we've got to be looking to these uh, youngsters coming through and, uh, well, obviously grooming and bringing them into the, uh, the first team and giving them the chance. But uh, the try unconverted, eight, uh, nearly nine minutes gone, and uh, Saints have uh, possession back. Steve Prescott on the far side. He's blistering face, this Prescott, but an excellent tackle uh, by uh, Rob Myler just earlier on. But Saints bring it away. Oh, good drive there by Ian Pickavance. The Saints outstanding player in the midweek, uh, drubbing by Salford. But Andy Janet taking up the running. Super yardage by the Saints as they come up to the halfway line. The ball fed in field, Lachlan takes it well, he sees the gap, he drives for it, but Warrington tidy up, they cover up, and Warrington defence usually watertight, but being tested this afternoon, Gus O'Donnell chips it down for the corner, Lee Penny will let it run, but good yardage there by the Saints, Bill, unfortunately putting Warrington under a lot of pressure, you would expect Warrington obviously at the top of the uh, table to come here today, you can't be complacent, but uh, Saints have had an excellent start. Well, he used the word complacent, Ron, not seen any yet. It's been all St. Helens, territorially, and in possession. Game will settle down. We've just got outside the first ten minutes now. Usually expect the home team to call the shots early on. Warrington with bags of pace in the uh, three quarters. Got the forwards to do the job on the park. And here's one of them, ex-Great Britain skipper, Mike Gregory. Ball within the Warrington red zone at this point, then. There's Gary Chambers making the quarter line. Snappy tackling from St. Helens, being well led by Griffiths at this point. Here's Phillips, head down. Gets shot to St. Hooker. Hodkinson and picks up big yardage. Connolly shouting held. Here's Kelly Shelford, chief troublemaker. Feeds it out. Looked like a bit of an upstairs-ish tackle. However, John Connolly letting the game flow. No tackle. Is rule there, and there's a kick right in front of us, rolling into touch. Getting the usual chess game at the minute, Ron, four to five drives and a kick. Once it settles down, I think this is one of those games everyone will see on Sky tonight. Some of the best centres knocking about in the rugby league are on view today, with Bateman, Davis and Paul Lachlan. Should be plenty to watch. Oh, there's no danger about that, Bill. Saints get uh, scrum possession. It should be uh, good. Obviously, I look forward to watching it again. As Saints move it out quickly. Steve Prescott has the ball now. Quick hands by the Saints. There's some excellent talent on view all over as the touch judge comes in on the far side. Obviously, a little bit of jiggery pokery in at the tackle. But it's, uh, it's nice to... Uh, I know you mentioned it in the nice possible way about Shelford being the chief troublemaker. Obviously, in your side and uh, Thorne in our side makes a change from us being called troublemakers, Bill, doesn't it? But uh, Saints get a penalty. Phil Beavers, a fine touch. 
20, well, 20, nearly 30 metres inside the Warrington half. John Harrison driving up. Obviously, John Neal missing today. Picked up uh, another injury, unfortunately. John Neal been uh, an outstanding forward in the Saints pack. Along with George Mann, who is also injured. What Saints with the run-around movement, looking for the gap. Oh, Sean Casey couldn't take it. It looked an awkward ball. It went to ground. It'll be a scrum down with the, uh, the Warrington feed. But uh, Saints in uh, Jonathan uh, Griffiths' uh, capable hands uh, as the captain, bringing the ball over to the left, obviously with Shane Cooper, chief playmaker for the Saints, out injured. And uh, Greg Mackey to feed Bill. Yeah, thanks, Ron. Mackey taking the ball there, feeds Mark Forster. Warrington on the back foot so far into the game then. Got 12 minutes on the clock. It's 0-4. Saints with the one try. There's Lee Penny. Surging run. Warrington not settled down as yet, but that's because they've not been allowed to. Mike Gregory's unloaded a super ball. Big run in midfield there from Gary Chambers. Warrington finally getting the breast back. Saints dropping back the required 10. There's Thursfield, Roland Phillips. Paul Lachlan. GB centre involved in the tackle. So the ball will go midfield. It's Shelford looking for options. None forthcoming there. Imperative that Warrington record the win today to keep their faint championship hopes alive. Keeping the ball alive. Great style there is Greg Mackey. Cuts. Super tackle comes in from Griffiths. Match official. Allowing play to develop. Well, everything is going the Saints way at the moment. There's a crash tackle from Kelly Shelford. Game starting to settle down, Ron. Yes, uh, Mackey unlucky there. He tried to squeeze the ball out. It did touch a Saints player and it came back. Cries for a knock on from the uh, Warrington faithful just behind us. I don't think it was, but uh, the game is allowed to progress and good handling there. Uh, but the referee, yes, an elbow going in. Penalising the Saints, uh, Jonathan Griffiths maybe, or is Tommy Hodgkinson it is. They, they do look uh, so alike, obviously, on the field. But uh, going in with a raised elbow is the indication, Bill, and that's what the referee has uh, penalised the Saints for. Warrington via Davis are going to be back with possession just inside the Saints' half. Well, say there, on referee's correct, but every player in the rugby league leads with their elbow. If you pull them all up, we'd be here till Tuesday. However, there's Roland Phillips doing his job. Three St. Helens players involved. Hodkinson in the tackle. Opposite number Thursfield is at acting half. That's Mackey for Chambers. Sonny Nickel in the tackle. So Warrington then finally in possession within the St. Helens half. Greg Mackey switches it. Alan Bateman crashes onto the ball. Wriggles past one tackle. Last line of defence, Phil Beavers. Been doing super work like that for 10 years. It's Mike Gregory, Warrington bringing it to this short side. And Mark Forster ins his shot. We have a whistle for a forward pass. Warrington finally unveiling an attacking option there. And we'll have a look at the clock. A scrum down, the Saints feed. Gus O'Donnell had come away with it. The ball being spread over to the right. Pickavance pushing the tacklers off and driving again. He's Pickavance. He's a big lad. Son, uh, grandson, I should say, of uh, Saints director Joe Pickavance. Usually a second row man, but he has played on the wing and in the centre for Swinton. And he's showing uh, his versatility here today and just carrying on where he left off at uh, the Willers at Salford on Wednesday. Tommy Hodge at uh, acting half back. Change of direction by Andy Dammit. Last one of the sequence. Gus O'Donnell has possession. Kicks it downfield. Robbie Myler shouldn't have any problem. Is it going to go dead? It is. The ball too deep. And the game will restart from the centre of the 20-metre line with a tap. 16 and a half minutes gone. Saints in the lead by four points to nil. Warrington again, coming out from the quarter line. Hat-trick scorer last week, Mark Forster. Warrington player, I believe it's Roland Phillips, receiving attention midfield. Game progressing nicely. Paul Derbyshire there, was outstanding last week. Twice Gus O'Donnell's kicked the ball long. It's run out on the full. Gary Chambers then, Warrington inching closer to the halfway line. Get to see them click into gear. Game has settled down now. 
It is Phillips recovered, has a yard and goes. Feed Lee Penner. Ball going to ground there when a scoring chance was in the offering. That could prove costly at the end of the day, Ron. Well, uh, as far as I'm concerned, yes, uh, maybe, Bill. But uh, Phillips there, he's a forward. He's had to wait for his chance. Oh, yeah. He's been at Warrington a long while, and he's one that's impressed me uh, this season so far. He's, uh, he's there, he's a big Welshman. He broke through clearly there, and Penny couldn't take it, and it'd have been four points all the way, and possibly six. But uh, Saints have weathered that storm, obviously, with the lost ball by Penny. And Beavers has it. Well, that's an, a bit of a naughty tackle. Uh, it wasn't from a great height, but uh, obviously the intent kind of thing was there. It's high speed collision sport, and uh, they just get hold of them, and these things just happen. Uh, nothing really, uh, how should you say, malicious, I would say, Bill, but it was just, it looked worse than it actually was. Yeah, but the referee, he's got a, a brief that's given to him. Had to give the penalty. Yeah. Wouldn't expect, uh, is it Lachlan kicking? Yes to miss from there will make the score six points to nil super start for the Saints of course one thing I would say about the St. Helens club run no matter how the form's going you can always come here and see the place three quarters full not many clubs in the first division can say that no that's true even though we have had uh, earlier in the season obviously with things not going well under the Mike McLennan regime uh, the lowest crowd for what they said 12 was it 12 or 15 seasons 3,000 and odd but they're uh, they're in here today Paul Lachlan from a more or less straight in front, but about uh, 45 metres out. It uh, doesn't go between the uprights. It will receive ball possession. Well, hopefully, if Warrington uh, don't find touch, but they're dropping out from the centre of the 20 uh, metre line. Jonathan Davis kicks it uh, up centre field. Try and put a little press bit of pressure on Phil Beavers. He takes it comfortably, brings it over to the left. Quickly dispatched to the earth. Bateman and uh, Shelford, but John Harrison in again, another forward that's got to get back into uh, the first team, obviously. As Andy Downer goes through support from Tommy Hodgkinson on his right, he gets it. What solid tackling there by Lee Penny, scrambling defence, as they say, by Warrington. Saints move it over to the right, Griffiths on to Nickel. The ball handling looking impressive this afternoon. Uh, nearly 20 minutes gone. Sean Casey inside to John Griffiths. Nichols there. Oh, Nichols just brought down short. Excellent tackling by the wire. Tommy Hodgkinson chips it through. It's a try. Sean Casey follows it up. And he goes in for his second. Well, who would have thought it? Warrington put under pressure right on the 20th minute. And unfortunately, as far as you are concerned, Bill, uh, Saints doing to Warrington what Warrington did to the Saints at Wildersboo on the more or less the fifth or sixth saddle, chipping it through. I think it was Tommy Hodgkinson, followed it up, Casey touched it down, and the, the wire conceded another four points, Bill. Certainly do. Score now reads 8 0 in the 20th minute. Sustained pressure from St. Helens there. Bit of an element of luck. Ball looks to be bobbling about. Support players doing the job, doing it great style. Warrington then will have to come out now if, if they needed to kick up the pants. They've just had one. Getting all stern a warning and letting two tries in in the first quarter of the game. Lachlan then looking to put uh, the extra two on. It's successful. Score goes 10 points to nil, deservedly so, in the 20th minute. Yes, Paul Lachlan pops that one over. He's first out of uh, three attempts, but it gives Saints a ten-point cushion. And uh, maybe Warrington there are going to find it hard to come back from this. They are uh, excellent competitors, as Bill was saying. Uh, I think he was on about the Leeds match where they nearly let uh, Warrington nearly let Leeds back into the game, but uh, superior power proved uh, right at the end. But Lachlan there, his 33rd goal of the season. Steve Prescott also kicked 17 goals uh, for the Saints. But they're under the cosh of the wire, uh, and 19 minutes remaining of the first half. As we say, we're uh, in the uh, director's box, and obviously the sun in our eyes as we look over to the Eddington uh, corner. I hope you'll bear with us if we just make a few odd mistakes. But as, as I've uh, often said before on our video, Bill, we don't make as many mistakes as the professionals, Ray French and all that sort of stuff, do we? Oh, we're far better than them, Ron. Saints are at it again. 
Mark Barstow with a super tackle there. I must say, uh, Ron, Eric Hughes seems to have told the Saints players, get the ball out wide as often as he can. I think he thinks he's got the edge out wide, Ron. Yes, maybe so, but anything's going to be an improvement on last Wednesday's performance. Yeah, but Salford were outstanding, but the ball kicked deep downfield and putting pressure on uh, Rob Myler. Saints have to give him the required 10 metres, they move up quickly, and in cases like that, when the ball's kicked upfield, the tackling game has got to be strong. On that occasion it was, and let's see if the Saints can contain the wire down in their own 20 metre area, Bill. Well, the chase was good. Warrington coming out from the quarter line again. Paul Derbyshire running straight at John Harrison. Warrington looking to keep hold of the ball for a couple of minutes here. Compose themselves. As soon as the commentator speaks, it's out. Saints on the attack again, Ron. Yes, I have that problem occasionally. Famous last words and all that sort of stuff. But the severity of the tackle, shoot the ball out, and Paul Lachlan was there to accept it. Saints moving it over to the right now, as you say, moving it out wide. Ian Pickavance bustling in, looking for support there, turning in the tackle. But uh, nobody there to accept it. Andy Dannett driving it up. Chris Joint onto Lachlan. Oh, Lachlan nearly, nearly. He just juggled with it. He had Andy Haig on his right, but it's now with Griffiths. Bateman tries to tackle him. Griffiths gets the ball out. Casey chips it through. The ball's still loose. Who comes up with possession? Warrington. Well, calls for offside, obviously, but Warrington come up with possession. Greg Mackey has it. Let's see if he can weave some of his magic, Bill. Well, a bit of Greg Mackey magic required right now. Here's Shelford steaming onto the ball. Ten points in the game. Warrington needs to do something. Lee Penny goes down at the half. Lee Penny's been absolutely out. But for him, it'd be another ten on the board. However, Chambers uh, busting into the line. Jonathan Griffiths wearing six, involved in the tackle. Here's Phillips then. Ten metres inside the St Helens half. Phillips keeping it tied in. Chris Joint unable to affect the tackle. Alan Bateman's fed Mark Foster. Options disappearing. Super pressure defence from St Helens there. Excellent defensive work being supplied. Ten in the game. We'll all have a look at the clock. We're now in the 25th minute. 14 minutes then for Warrington to try and get something on the board. And it will be a St Helens speed. Yes, didn't Phillips do well there, Bill? They drove it up. Jonathan Griffiths completed the tackle. He still had all of him round the legs, and then the Saints couldn't... They came in, but they couldn't contain him. He stepped away, and then the ball going into touch. Scrum down with uh, a Saints feed, yes, and uh, Mark Hilton coming on. And uh, Gary Chambers going off. And 25 minutes gone on the clock. Saints with ball possession, Andy Haig coming in field. Harrison driving it down the middle. A lot of these wingers uh, on all the sides now, throughout the first division, being asked to come in field for the early tackles, just in case they can break the uh, first line of defence. And then with a superior pace, they should be away. But Saints now, Andy Dannett, running hard and strong, and he's another player that's coming on from strength to strength. A lot of the players... Uh, we're moved about in uh, past regimes, but now holding a steady spot, and maybe that's holding a steady spot just because Saints haven't got the manpower. Where every every position up for grabs, a deep kick there, Bill putting pressure on the wire, but it's uh, head and ball, and Saints have been looking to contain uh, the wire in the 20 metre area, and uh, it's been quite end-to-end -end stuff, I think, really. Even though Warrington nothing on the board, but uh, it's still exciting rugby. Yep, sure is, same button. Warrington only gained possession when they're deep inside their own quarter. There's Chris Joint, GB player in the tackle. So Mackie then has fed Lee Penny. Lee Penny, no options, disappears. Pick of Vance involved. Ball is at the quarter line. Ten points to nil, here's Mike Gregory. Head down, taking the tackles. This is Mark Hilton. Double tackle there. Guys coming in at this point. Tackle's being used up. Seven metres short of the half. Shouts for a forward pass. And Mr Connolly obliges. Bit of a 50-50 job that, I think, Ron. Well, it didn't look all that bad from here. And uh, I'm as biased as they come, Bill. But, um, so, well, so they tell me. 
but it didn't look all that bad from here but uh, referee Conley on the job especially with the assistance of uh, about six or seven thousand uh, St Helens uh, amateur referees in the crowd as Phil Beavers links up from the back line Lee Penny comes in covers well along with Alan Bateman but now it's Sonny Nickel midfield pushes off two still drives it forward Solid tackling by the wire as Tommy Hodgkinson for his play. Tries to uh, give the dummy. Now gets the ball away to Beavers. Up the middle he goes. He'll take the tattle on the 20-meter line. Sage looking hungry. 10-0 in the lead. 27 minutes on the clock. Dallas again drives it up. Quick play of the ball now. John Harrison. Six foot seven of him. Drives forward. Last one of the sequence. Will the Saints have a goal for a, a one-pointer? Yes, Gus O'Donnell looks wide from here. Yes, waved away. Shouldn't have missed that, Bill. Obviously, all points are crucial. And uh, a one-pointer and lucky to get the ball back. But it's going to be Warrington that will start from the centre of the 20-metre. Yeah, once again, starting from their own red zone. Mark Foster there. <coughs> On the run, going central. Here's Mike Gregory. Warrington still haven't been able to put six passes together. We'll look to take the ball into the St. Helens half right now. Mark Hilton does just that. Big tackle there involving Harrison. So, it's Mackey. Paul Darby should take a short flat ball. Big shouts for a forward pass again. Never was. Ball will go midfield. It's Shelford. Throws it out for Ellis. Long risky pass. Jonathan Davis taking man and ball. Sarcastic cheers as usual when Davis is tackled. It is kick time then for Brian Johnson's man, Kelly Shelford. Warrington looking to run their kick. Roland Phillips adopts the uh, safe route, chips it up. Phil Beavers under big pressure from Bateman taking there. Alan Bateman showing you exemplary work. Once again, another attack coming to nothing. St. Helens bringing it out with Hay. A dream game up to now for the St. Helens run. Oh, yes, great. You can't grumble, I mean, obviously, in possession. 10 points in the lead, two opportunist tries. Ball's loose, John Harrison lost it to Lincoln, Shelford picks it up and wire back on the attack with Davis and the, probably the best chance that they're going to get to, well, up to now, but they've had them to now, Bill. Yeah, they've been starved of striking range possession. They have it now with Kelly Shelford. Mike Gregory's gone. You'd think they were playing in the Challenge Cup semi-final, the intensity that's been shown. Kevin Ellis getting battered there, trying to keep the ball alive. Bit of a panic play and Saints surging out again. Here's Ron. Well, the idea was right there, Bill. The long pass uh, tried to get uh, Warrington in at the corner, but uh, Saints moving up excellently, uh, oh, very quickly. And uh, Prescott got the ball, he got up, but the tackling came in, the cover defence, and uh, held him down. But Saints still have possession. Sonny Nickel, Tommy Hodges acting half back now with Chris Joint. Shelford. Completed the tackle, brought him down, Bateman tidies up. Saints still bring it blindside with Andy Dallet. And solid tackling again. First field, the hooker, excellently brought to Dallet down. Now with Beavers for the kick downfield. Lee Penny should sit up nice for him. Well, he lets it go past him. I don't think he actually touched it. But uh, no, yes, uh, panic job, it was close that. But uh, as the sun's gone in now, well, it's getting decidedly cold over here, isn't it? But I bet it's uh, quite warm out there. Quite warm, it's white hot. Still uh, 10 in the game. Looks at the scoreboard then, thought it was things. We got the witness result. Anyway, ball's approaching halfway. Warrington starting to edge it slowly. Time in possession, and we have a man with a flag on the pitch. We will have a penalty awarded for the Warrington club. Not sure what went on. I believe Mr. Pickavance has been summoned to the headmaster's study. Gets his 100 lines, looks innocent, goes away. And we'll get on with the game. Warrington have been starved of striking range possession. Jonathan Davis puts long yardage on there. So Warrington will get a full set, maybe 24 metres out. Approaching half time now. Need a score. Mark Hilton. Head down. Sun comes out again to torment me and run. Here's Roland Phillips. Turns and looks for support. Thursfield provides it. Greg Mackey switching play. Goes midfield. Joint affects the tackle. Warrington could do with something right now. Kelly Shelford looking to supply it. Cuts inside again. Super attack, super defence. Top class rugby league here at Knowsley Road. 
Paul will be coming away from our camera position. There's Kevin Ellis. Jonathan Davis has switched sides, has fed the ball out. Lee Penny in support. Wants to evade a highest shot. Casey involved in the tackle. It is kick time. We have a scuffle behind play. Game's progressing. We've got an ugly incident in midfield. Waddington keeping it alive. Paul Davis is being caught in possession. Everything's happening. Now, I think that the touch judge run should bring play back. I don't know who's responsible for the scuffle. However, things are starting to boil up. Yes, uh, just uh, temper's getting a little frayed, and uh, Gus O'Donnell and Alan Bateman just having a little tete uh, tete. But uh, the touch judge did come on and separate them. But uh, yes, the Saints uh, player injured. Jeanette Smith, Saints physio being brought on quickly. Yes, uh, it is. Uh, it is a bad injury by the looks of things, and the uh, the doctor for the Saints being called on. The referee stopped it straight away. The touch judge on this side just going reporting in about the little scuffle, but I just can't make out who's injured, whether it's uh, Big John Harrison or not. I just can't see. But obviously, uh, another injury to the Saints. Is recovered, are able to carry on. We can cut out the niggling and get back to some football. Yeah, well, Saints are going to be uh, bringing uh, substitute Mike Riley on for John Harrison. He's going to go in the sim bin. He's been led, led uh, uh, the blood bin, I beg your pardon. I do, I stand directed. <laughs> <laughs> I stand corrected. Um, the blood bin, John Harrison off of 34 minutes. So Riley on, and obviously, uh, has, has Warrington made a substitution, Bill? I don't think had one fella stripped off, but Derbyshire, he must be all right now. Yes, Saints uh, still have possession, leading 10 points to nil, and uh, six minutes, well, six minutes on my watch, but only uh, is eight minutes on the scoreboard. But Saints still have possession. Pick of Vance coming through again, looking very sharp again this afternoon, causing havoc in the Warrington defence. Saints bringing it to their left. Chris Joint, but well tackled. Last one of the sequence. The ball to Lachlan. Puts a tester up. Sun in the eyes of Vermeiler, but he takes it well. Gus O'Donnell comes in to close him down, but he winds past him. He's brought down just inside the Saints' half. Thanks, Ron. I do feel, I don't want to be biased, that Warrington is starting to creep back into this game now. Spending more and more time in the... Uh, Opposition half, here's Roland Phillips. Looks to unload, keeps it tied in, had support there. Took no risks, however. Here's Shelford then. <coughs> Jonathan Davis has a yard. Jonathan Davis, ankle tap tackle. Tremendous tackle from Paul Lachlan. Foot on the gas sign for the Warrington Club now then. Kevin Ellis unloads. Lee Penny's crops up in the line. So then. Greg Mackey organising the troops, is in possession now, looks for runners. Mike Gregory's taking possession, Lee Penny once again. Well wrapped up there from Chris Joint. Tackles have gone, the game is getting closer and closer, building into a tremendous tussle run. Yes, the Warrington man playing the ball there, he didn't know what. Uh, well, it's worth a go, Bill, because it is, didn't get away with it. But uh, it looked all on the try there for Warrington as Davis uh, came through. But Lachlan, as Bill uh, rightly called it, tapped his ankles and uh, it was a try saver in the end. So, say three start just short of the halfway line. Chris Joint, right in front of our commentary position, but obviously on the opposite side to our camera work. So if we get the right and left wrong, you'll have to excuse us. Janet gets the ball out to Andy Haig. Limited chances from this young fellow. He's not actually in touch, it's a Warrington body that was on the line. Good tackling there by Mark Foster. But uh, Mark Foster, but Saints is still in possession. And Sonny Nickel trying to bust the line. He gets the ball back, Steve Prescott. Blistering pace from this lad, let's see what he can do. He releases the ball. Mike Riley, he brings it in field. Takes a, a strong challenge, but Saints still move it out. Sean Casey, long ball to Haig, takes the tackle of Foster. Good rugby by both sides, good defence and good attack. Griffiths and Nickel. Nickel takes it across field, releases it there. TM Pickavance. 
looking for support, the ball's still moving, it's going to be Warrington, Sage tried to spread it out, but uh, Sage with another injury, Andy Haig taking a, a knock, a right knee injury, but it's Warrington that's back in possession. Yeah, tremendous rugby league being played here now, Roland Phillips trying to keep it going, looks to unload again, he's finally tackled by two Saints. Ball 12 metres shy of the game, less than four to the break. Mark Hilton midfield. So, after that little burst of excitement, little calm period again. Warrington still the 10 down. Risky ball from Mackey, tidied up by Ellis. Kelly Shelford. Ball's at the half. John Thursfield then for Alan Bateman. Bateman elects to kick the ball. There's a rarity. Sets off in pursuit. It's a comedy play. A tackle breaking out right on the touch line. Here's a decision for somebody to make. I'm trying to peer through a, a drain pipe and a post. We have a scrum down with a Warrington feed. Do you agree with that, Ron? Well, Steve Prescott came over. He uh, went on the ball, and it, it certainly looked as though he'd uh, knocked it forward. And the touch judge actually gave the decision, Bill. So, as you say, our uh, eye line just a little bit obscured. But whatever we think about it, Bill, referee makes a decision. We've got to put up with it, haven't we? That is correct. So then we'll have a replay of that scrum. Still turning the game. Dying minutes. Warrington could do with a score to set up a nail bite in second half. Lee Penny's had a win through. Lee Penny's got his head back. There is a tremendous try from Lee Penny. You saw the scrum. We had to have two goals at it. The ball was moved across the field. Went through a couple of pairs of hands. Lee Penny surged onto the ball. Arrowed in. I'll try and get Ron to forget his bias. We're going to have a great second half now, Ron. Oh, well, it's going to be, it's been a great game all, all together, uh, Bill. Uh, 39 minutes on my watch, 37 on the scoreboard, but excellent try there. Yeah, all right, Brian, 37 minutes, all right. That's all good, uh, And uh, But excellent try there by Penny, linked up, and it should have been his second, Bill, to be quite honest. He, uh, he, he bombed one a bit earlier, but uh, Saints, being under pressure, Prescott, a judge to have knocked on from the scrum feed. The ball moved out quickly. A big hole in the Saints' defence. Penny went through it, even though Saints were on his tail, but he still banged it down over the whitewash. And uh, 10 points to four with his conversion to come, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Lee Penny there, you can't praise him enough. So I won't. Jonathan Davis then, looking to close the game down. Six in it at the moment. Would expect Davis to uh, be successful. And good spade work by Roland Phillips. Outstanding forward in your, your side this afternoon. Uh, well, running well and getting shut of the ball well. Taking the tacklers and still unloading. Well, like you said before, he's had a long apprenticeship, but he's loving it now. Davis is successful with the kick. So, whatever you're doing, don't go away. We have a game on situation. The half-time score will read 10 points to 6, which I think is a fair reflection of the play. Still waiting for, uh, I think it was Harrison who went away after the scone against scone incident a few minutes ago. We've had some tremendous rugby league being played. Everybody's uh, deserving winning pay at this point. St. Helens will restart shortly then. I think St. Helens, you know, they've been having a bit of a rough trot run. They're not one of those teams that will finish outside the top eight. I doubt if the top four, don't want to upset anyone, where would you predict they'll finish run? Well, who knows? Where's the old, the old side? Don't they, Bill? Tell you in May, April or May. But we've never been out of the top eight since we've been in the uh, one division situation, 1973 and all that. Uh, usually up and there and about. Warrington, pretty lean period as of late. We're obviously looking to try and secure the championship. Hard job, especially with the pie eaters up there, you know, four years on the trot. Uh, excellent unit, the pie eaters, aren't they? But just let's hope they come unstuck. Another minute and 40 seconds of injury time played. But uh, the half-time score with Penny going over a couple of minutes before the interval, it leaves it at Saints 10, Warrington 6. Two tries from Sean Casey in the 7th and the 20th. The latter converted by Lachlan. Saints with a 10 points uh, to nil lead. But excellent try there after a mistake by the Saints. Lee Penny powered over, linked up well from the full-back position. Davis called it. Excellent second. Expect will join you, or you should say, Hope you can join us shortly. 10-6, the half-time score.
Well, back with you now for the second half of the Stones Bitter League clash just before we get underway. I received a letter uh, today, obviously, from uh, an ardent uh, supporter of my, my good self and uh, our Saints video. I want to give a special mention for the youngest ever Saints supporter, who's Jack Barnes, uh, enrolled at the Saints uh, as a Saints spectator, or Saints supporter, I should say, at five and a half hours old. He was born on the 4th of January this year. Best wishes from uh, Dad Richard and Mum. Unfortunately, I haven't got Mum's name. But uh, Jack Barnes, five and a half hours old, when enrolled as the youngest Saints supporter. And uh, Richard Barnes uh, is his dad, and his brother-in-law uh, is being semi-converted semi to rugby league from soccer due to our excellent uh, rugby coverage. But we're underway for the uh, second half. 10-6 to half-time score, and Warrington in possession. Yes, game delicately poised, 10 points to 6. St. Helens had uh, 30 of the 40 minutes in the first half. Warrington just got the 10, managed to get a score in. Here's Mark Hilton, surging central. First field for Roland Phillips, who Ronnie likes the look of. Phillips going well there. Chris Joint, exactly in a match with Sonny Nicol. It's Mackey in midfield, misses out Mike Gregory. Kevin Ellis, long ball. Warrington starting, how do you mean to continue? Alan Bateman in possession. Kick time then for Warrington in their green and white stripes. Ball goes midfield, Greg Mackey. Lifts a crossfield kick, looks to be a bit strong from here. Rolls out on the full, and I still wouldn't like to put Ron's tenor on the outcome of the game. <laughs> Never had a tenor in my life, old lad. But yes, uh, you never know, Saints restart from the uh, centre of the 20 metre line. John Harrison back on the field, uh, patched up after, uh, we think, a clash of heads. We've taken off straight away. I think Mike Riley has uh, returned to the bench, Bill, and uh, as we were. But Saints in possession, Sonny Nickel, quick hands, on to Steve Prescott, he sidesteps in field, Prescott at the third attempt, he's brought down by prop forward Roland Phillips. Saints move it out left, Sean Casey, well timed ball to Paul Lachlan, good cover defence there by the wire, joint chips it through, chases his own kick up, trying to put pressure on the wire, as joint pushing him over the line, well... Looked a little bit complacent there, Bill, for me. John kicked it through, he followed it up. It was uh, Mark was Mark Foster that took his time and uh, he was held over the line, Bill. Sure was, you can say that, but I tell you what, being held over the line, a lot better than doing nothing and conceding the score. Another full score for the St. Helens Club now. Would leave Warrington with mountains to climb. However, like I've said, I wouldn't like to predict the game. There's the restart. Here's Ron. Yes, yeah, Sonny Nickel. Receives it from uh, Gus O'Donnell. He drives in, Nickel. Head down and keeps going. Mackey, one of the tacklers there. Last to get off. Along with uh, Paul Derbyshire. Now with Sonny Nickel. Brings it over to Steve Prescott. Prescott goes without it. Warrington gather possession. Will the Saints' uh, fitness be able to withstand this uh, Warrington barrage that the bounce to get in the second half? Ten points to six to score, early minutes in the second half, and Warrington in possession. Yep. Warrington finding themselves nine metres shy of the half. Four points in the game. Mackey, Ellis. Ellis sees a yeah. Pulling ball to tackle. Pick of hands. Bit of a loose arm. Game's going on. Such judge right in front of us. Indicates a knock on. I didn't believe it was, whatever, the match official's view is the one that counts. Ronald thought you threw it. Well, I didn't see a knock on there either, uh, Bill, just uh, watching it. Obviously, a lot of mauling at the uh, the tackle, but the touch judge gives that one as the referee looked for a little bit of divine guidance. I'm sure we can give him a bit of divine guidance. But Saints move it over. The ball's lost. Saints just couldn't control it. Alan Bateman in possession of Owen, siding through the Saints defence. Alan Bateman stepping super style, Warrington with the foot on the gas, Roland Phillips piling into the defensive line. Everything's happening here. Early stages of the second half, but only in the third minute of the second half. Here's Kevin Ellis, balls at the quarter line. Ellis looks to switch play, Mike Gregory. There's another handling error. 
Warrington lucky to come away without conceding possession there. Mike Gregory's going central. Tackled inside the St. Helens red zone. Warrington spent precious little time there in the first half. Need to capitalise on being there now. Shelford's unloaded for Mackey. Mackey spins through one tackle. Promising build-up. Being allowed to develop. Kevin Ellis gets shot to Sonny Nickel, who then follows up with a late elbow. John Connolly spotted that. Well, I'll tell you what, use of the elbow, we saw it once in the first half. It's creeping into the game. The trainer's coming on. I don't suppose anybody's going to get a card out, but we don't need to see that creep into the game, run. Well, you don't, uh, Bill, but as you say, a lot of it is used now. They seem to go in, holding the ball high with the elbow point, uh, like pointing. But uh, referee there saying uh, he's gone in with a thump. Yeah. And uh, the actual point is where the penalty has been given, as pointed out by Bill. Uh, has been uh, moved, uh, you could say, five to ten metres to the right of the actual position where the offence took place because uh, the man was still on the floor receiving treatment. But uh, referee uh, Connolly not picking that up. A chance for Warrington, obviously they can't. Well, they, they suppose they could, but they don't want to concede any points off the Saints early in the second half. They have a chance now to bring the deficit to two. Davis's trusty boot. Five minutes gone of the second half. An indiscretion by uh, Sonny Nickel, I think it was. Allegedly going in with a punch. And uh, Davis converts it. And the wire back within two points, Bill. Yeah, Warrington coming out. The strongest of the two in the five that have been played here in the second half. Three tries in this excellent game. Up to now, St. Helens restart, short kick-off. Roland Phillips takes it one-handed, turns and has a look. Sprinting hard, Sonny Nichols at him. Phillips keeps going. Hodkinson turns up wearing nine, joins the party. And Phillips is finally grounded. Is uh, Mark Hilton then. Sonny Nichols in the tackle. You've got to wonder if these lads who have done such a sterling job for the Saints today can keep the fitness levels up. Kelly Shelford dragging the St. Helens defence with him. Ball is on the halfway line. It's Mackey. Look for Ellis. Roland Phillips takes a dodgy pass. Warrington starting to uh, dictate play then. Ball is central within the St. Helens half. Mike Gregory sprinting through the centres. Comes out, rolls into touch. Must be some cold fingers out there, huh? I would imagine there's some cold fingers up here. I'd love with us, isn't there? But excellent play by uh, Warrington. Moved it over to the right. Gregory trying to slip the ball out to uh, Mark Forster. Went uh, directly into touch. Scrum down Saints' feed. Warrington had been coming through well there, Bill. And uh, Saints have got to get the uh, tackling numbers, twos and threes. They've got to get the man round the legs. He can't go without the legs. But uh, joint uh, going through. Obviously the wire there, they're not uh, bringing Chris Joint down. Can the Saints uh, stand the uh, pace? And it's been a hectic pace throughout the game. Well, the referee shouted for a high tackle. It didn't look all that bad for me, Bill. I mean, he's, he's six foot seven, Harrison, but it didn't look uh, it didn't look all that bad, did it? Well, to be honest with you, Mr. Harrison was quite surprised by all of that. However, referees have got a hard enough job to do. Paul Lachlan feels sorry for the wire and kicks it behind him. Yes, uh, hooks it a bit there. Must gained about uh, two or three metres. But it's Saints now with the possession, and let's see if they can penetrate this uh, Warrington defence. Eight minutes gone of the second uh, half. Ten points to eight to score. And big John Harrison driving it up the centre. Griffiths, the captain, bringing on Ian Pickavance. He turns into the Warrington defence. Tommy Hodgkinson from acting halfback moves it left. Sean Casey. Championship hopes. Saint Helens trying to show their coach. And it is that they're all worth a shirt next week. There's a surging run, driven hard into the Saints half. Was Mark Hilton. Here's Mackey. Blitz. Sucking in defenders. And they on that occasion, two tackles used up. Four metres inside the opposition half. It's Greg Mackey. 
switch play for Kelly Shelford. Alan Bateman's gone. Alan Bateman streaking through. Alan Bateman gets the ball away. The Waddington three-quarter being Mark Foster, I believe, over on the ball. No, it's Lee Penny. My apologies. Warrington supplying electrifying rugby league at this point then. I've been under the cosh, waking in up. There's Kelly Shelford going midfield. Warrington inching it closer and closer, just the two in the game. Kevin Ellis feeds Jonathan Davis. The ball goes to ground at long last run. We start to see some players. Yes, it's still exciting, Bill. It's been exciting rugby all through. 50 minutes we've had of uh, pulsating action and uh, Jonathan Davis putting the ball back down there and Warrington were putting Saints under the cosh but Tommy Hodgkinson oh, bringing the ball away well looked a little bit uh, dubious there the, uh, the action but play allowed to go on Chris Joint seeing the end to end stuff
Not had a try in this game now since the 38th minute. Possession and territory being shared. We've had near misses, drills, pills at both ends. Meanwhile, St. Tellings are in possession, looking to Bill Long. And I still won't put Ronnie Stennard on the outcome. But it's good value for money, Bill, isn't it? There's no danger. As you said, those people that are not converted to rugby league yet, the games like this, they certainly uh, should whet their appetite. John McAtee on uh, for Tommy Hodgkinson in the Saints lineup and Saints in possession. That'll probably mean Gus O'Donnell moving to Hooker. John McAtee to scrub half, well that's touched en route. Warrington come up with possession, McAtee comes in and uh, makes the first challenge, stops the man and Griffiths comes in and completes the tackle. Wire back in possession, moving it out quickly. John Davis uh, has the ball. He's taken down on the 20 metre line, but 11 8 the score and pulsating action, Bill. Certainly is. Right in front of our commentary position here. Sonny Nickel in the tackle, Rob Myler on the end of it. Here's Mark Hilton, man with many years in front of him, will have a huge rugby league career. Will one day pull on a GB shirt. However, Kelly Shelford, gone to the boot, death chip, McAtee, first touch of the ball, super touch it is, possession once again for St. Helens, we're now within the last quarter of the game, three points in it. Yes, Paul Lachlan has the ball and it's uh, the Saints now, they've got the motivation, they're in the lead, 11 points to eight, a try and a goal for the Saints to see this wire outfit off this afternoon I feel, but it's getting it and doing it. Is the hard job. Griffiths working the loop with McAtee. Griffiths on to join. Super cover defence by the wire. But Saints moving upfield. Looking to get points on the board. Jarrett out to Haig on the far side. Took a, a leg injury earlier on. But looks okay now. The last one of the sequence. Griffiths chips it. Warrington come up with possession. Griffiths tried to angle it. Moving over to the right and tried to angle it to the left. But there's my man of the match for Warrington, Roland Phillips doing the spade work again, Bill. Yeah, Roland Phillips having one of those games you can dream about. Jonathan Davis having one of those breaks you can only dream about. Lee Penny's up, Rob Myler will score the try. Well, Rob Myler's pushed down right behind the post in the 63rd of 80 minutes. You've got to say there was a huge element of luck about that. It all came initially from Roland Phillips siding up at the back. Jonathan Davis found himself in possession, raced up the touchline, put a kick in. Wasn't going to make the ball, tried to con the penalty, nobody was having it. Bit of a mix-up from a Saints defender. Lee Penny was involved, Rob Myler tied it up. That could well be the game-breaker. Well, if this game is going to be decided at this point, it would have to be by uh, a try with a bit of luck in it, and there was plenty involved in that run. Bill, but excellent uh, drive as you say Phillips at the back took it up well give it to Davis super side step as we know kicked it down as you said Bill nice to hear you said that he tried to make the penalty running to Phil Beavers but uh, young Prescott he couldn't tidy it up he was under a lot of pressure from Lee Penny and uh, Rob Myler the ball squirmed from under Prescott's body and Myler picked it up the referee allowed play to go on rightly so and uh, there's the four points and that puts it into six with Davis converting it. And uh, 17 minutes of the game to go, uh, perhaps against the run of play, but as you say, the element to look, and that's how it goes, isn't it? Well, when you get two evenly matched teams at any sport, and they're all excelling themselves, which everybody is, usually find that it needs a stroke a look to decide the issue, but it's not been decided yet anyway. So, Warrington is streaming out, Mark Forster. Don't want to uh, put the blockers on him. Looking for his 100th career try for the club. Won't get it from there. There's a bit of interference at the play of the ball. Mike Gregory is tackled on the quarter line. We've had a bit of drama, a bit of tragedy, a bit of everything here at Knowsley Road today. The sky cameras following Warrington about everywhere they go, giving value and entertainment. St. Helens 
only finding the cell three points down. When everybody was reading the uh, rugby league press over the weekend, he would have expected Waddington to win this 96 3. However, that has not been the case. Mark Hilton working hard midfield. John Thursfield is at the half. Kelly Shelford scoots into St. Helens territory. John Connolly's got his right arm raised. It is kick time. Look for a Skyer to be supplied here, Davis. Not a Skyer, positional kick. We have possession for the Saints once again. And here they come on attack. Yes, Andy Higg takes the ball cleanly. An awkward bouncing ball, well handled by John, uh, John Davis. Phil Beavers comes up, as we said before, Warrington in the lead for the first time. After 62 minutes, we have to mind a try converted by Davis. 14-11 to score. Still plenty of time, Saints get the ball out, McAtee out to Joint, and Joint straightens it up up the middle, oh, good tackling, good cover defence, and no doubt Brian Johnson, the Warrington coach, he'll have uh, rallied his troops at half-time, and now they're in the lead, they know what they've got to do, awkward ball by McAtee, well taken by Pick of Anson, he drives again, lively carry to this McAtee, a couple of uh, appearances in the first team for the Saints, but he's in there again this afternoon, we know what he can do, and Lachlan in the clear, can he be squeezing into the corner? He can, good cover tackling on the far side, but Sage set up the running, it's the last tackle. Sonny Nickel, can he squeeze in? Can he get the ball out? Nickel's still going! Oh, look at the swarm in Warrington defence, they're still there over him, well... He finally got him to ground, but as you say, Bill, what an effort by the Saints on the last tackle. Well, when you get end of season takes, you all concentrate on the long-range tries. Have a look at that grip from Sonny Nickel there, and everybody all hands on deck on defence. That's what rugby league's about. These guys aren't multi-millionaires. That's the effort they put in. The least you can do is turn up and watch them. That's enough of that. Warrington in possession. It's Greg Mackey, Roland Phillips. Phillips step in, getting shot of tacklers. Roland Phillips refusing to accept tackles. I've just told you how these blokes earn the money. There's another illustration. It's Thursfield for Mark Hilton. Now you're seeing rugby league professionals gritting the teeth, digging into reserves of energy and commitment, motivation. It's all on show. Jonathan Davis, one of the class acts in World Rugby League, right-footed chips into the pocket, another class act in World Rugby League, Phil Beavers breaks the quarter, here's Ron Yes sir good boot downfield, Beavers takes it comfortably Shelford uh, following it up and Paul Lachlan now certainly looks as though he's regained uh, a little bit of his uh, composure there after a, a bad spell as Harrison gets it away to McAtee but he knocks it forward bounces the ball down in disgust 17-10 at Wilderspool and in the Regal Trophy, as Davis goes through, taken by Sean Case in the Regal Trophy here at Nosey Road, Saints uh, losing out by 16-8, but it's Warrington again, Greg Mackey putting plenty of pressure on. Thanks, Ron. Warrington surging once again, here's a try coming up, Mike Gregory. Well, St. Helens were short in numbers out wide, tremendous handling from the Warrington club, that should well be the game-breaker. That's Great Britain skipper Mike Gregory in his testimonial year, crashing over there. 68 minutes. He saw Jonathan Davis in full flow. Didn't release the ball for Rob Myler. Tackle was affected upon uh, Jonathan Davis. Warrington shifted the ball quick style out wide, and Mike Gregory crashed over, leaving Davis a difficult kick. Can they withstand the pressure for full 80 minutes? Uh, lots of injuries in the camp. It's no excuse, you've got to put up with them. It happens to all teams. And uh, Saints there may be just uh, reeling against the uh, little bit of uh, pressure that Warrington put on them, but a good try again. And who gave the last pass, Bill? Roland Phillips, I think it was, to Gregory. Good handling, good quick handling. The man, he's played out of his skin, and he must be the Warrington man of the match by far. But uh, will it be the knockout ball for the Saints? 18-11 to score, difficult one for Davis. We know he can... Pop them over for all from all angles. But at 18, 11, 7, it's going to be nine points, isn't it? Uh, yes, nine points if he gets it. Oh, that's all the way, that. Yes, all the way. Excellent goal by Davis. 
20 points to 11. An uphill battle for the Saints. There's no danger about that. 10 minutes remaining. Mike Gregory just scored the try and he's gone off. And uh, who's come back on, Bill? Do we know? <laughs> Chambers just uh, being prompted. Uh, thank you to our friend. But Chambers uh, back on the field. Saints will restart. Gus O'Donnell. And Phillips is there again. So then, Warrington uh, not taking possession from that St. Helens restart. St. Helens have got a score quick style. Phil Vivers is capable of doing just that. Takes a huge shot in the tackle there. A crashed tackle coming in from Dave Elliott. Once again, recap. Score reads 20 points to 11 in favour of the visitors. Harrison there has been outstanding all afternoon. Well, there's an arm in the tackle. John Connolly is mistaken. But John Connolly is only human when all said and done. He is entitled to make the odd, uh, uh, how can I say it? Mess error. up. Error. Yeah, error. I was going to say something else, but I won't. Who says he's human? <laughs> Little bit of a remark there from my colleague, Ronnie Hoof. Whatever. What in Sadar trying to keep alive? Championship hopes. They've got to rely on other results. Yeah. Chambers for Hilton was a substitution. My apologies. Mike Gregory's still on the park. Pacey second rower Dave Elliott attacking the halfway line. Me and Ronnie did say that there could be a difference in match fitness. That has turned out to be the case in the second half. I believe we've got a bit of a shot in the tackle there. Who came out from the Warrington contingent, which is easily as large as the Saints contingent today. Greg Mack here. Greg Mack, he's sprinting and going. Cuts play, looks for support. Super intelligent work from Mackey there. Try scorer Mike Gregory back to his international form goes down on the quarter line. This is starting to turn into one way traffic. Roland Phillips, the man who can, does and just does. So then the ball is thrown for Mackey. David Elliott, Elliott surging into the defensive line. Warrington now well within striking range. It is kick time. It is well worth the one point to now. Jonathan Davis obliges. Score now reads St. Helens 11, Warrington 21. Without dressing it up or sounding fancy, Ron, I think that's that. Yes, maybe so, Bill. 21 11. 10 point, uh, 10 point cushion. Saints were 10 points up, but Warrington clawed the way back slowly but surely. Eight minutes, so time running out for the Saints. And Warrington get it in front. I think it may have been a different kettle of fish if the Saints had got in front, but it's surprising, as we said, Bill, fitness is going to be uh, the key thing. Warrington have uh, come to life, obviously, that tried her by uh, Myler after that little bit of luck. You've got to have that, and uh, Warrington never looked back, capitalised with another Gregory try, and then a Davis per drop goal. So the wire in possession, and the Saints are under the cosh. Well... That little slice of luck in Rob Myler's try has now turned the game. Whatever. Gary Chambers unloads there. Kelly Shelford still looks sprightly, as always playing in the fifth minute of the game. Ducking and diving midfield. He's finally put away. McAtee involved in the tackle. There's Derbyshire. Saints drop back to the halfway line on defence. Still time for a couple of scores in this game. Roland Phillips. Lots of forwards are coming back into contention at Wildersville now. You've got Phil Sumner and Bob Jackson to name but two. So the props have got to work hard to keep their jerseys. Craig Teitzel's not been available today. Another name that's got to be fitted into the pack. Things are coming right at Wildersville, just in time for the uh, you know which Cup, where the finals played you know where. So then, here's lively winger Prescott. He has looked a bit of a handful to me today. Paul Derbyshire getting involved in the party. St. Helens, no option but to throw the ball about, Ron. Yes, and that's what they're doing. Pick Vance was leading the way, got the ball away. But uh, super defence there as uh, Greg Mackey came in. And now it's with uh, Dannett. On to Chris Joint. He takes it up the centre. He's looking for support. It was a bit late coming, but Lachlan was there. But then he was tied, tied up with Joint and couldn't release it. Sonny Nickel running out wide. 100% improvement by the Saints on the midweek uh, thrashing by Salford. 
The Saints move it again, try to let the ball do the work. Casey and Beavers, and uh, now Lachlan coming in on the opposite diagonal. And now McAtee, nearly getting caught up there. Nearly an obstruction. The referee lets it go, and it's the last tackle. Joint chips it through. I don't know whether you saw uh, midweek, uh, Bill, in the, uh, after the Salford defeat. There was a little bit, I don't know, it was one of the local, uh, one of the daily papers. It was on about uh, Eric Hughes saying that the... Uh, the fitness wasn't up to his standard. He's had them all on bikes, a 20-mile bike run. Uh, somebody commented that the, uh, the the side came in looking like extras from Rawhide after uh, riding. And I believe one player commented, Bill, that uh, he said his bottom was like a blood orange. But uh, he'll get them fit in the end. But it's Wire back in possession. Well, all I can say to that is we all know that rugby league players like bikes. <laughs> you think about that. Anyhow... Ron's already picked out for the Warrington man of the match, that man right there, Roland Phillips. I would take issue with Ron there. I think Lee Penny pulled off enough match-saving tackles when Saints were running away with it. He kept Warrington in the game. For my man of the match for St. Helens, Ron will get to that in a minute. I think he'd pick out Andy Danner. He's worked tirelessly. So, whatever. The ball is back within the St. Helens half. Here's Mackey. Kelly Shelford. Super passing move. Alan Bateman takes the tackle. And here's Ron to tell you who the St. Helens man of the match is. Well, they've given it to Chris Joints, but uh, obviously it's been a good team performance. Anything, uh, as I said, better than the other night's performance. They've all grafted well. Obviously, with problems in the camp with injuries, nine or ten players out injured. injured. Uh, Dan up there is... Uh, we have two men on the match uh, here. Like we, we do have two, you know, one the sponsors, Bill, right. and one uh, is the, the McEwans. Well, uh, 9,000, by the way. Is that what they give you? Yeah. 9,000 the crowd, excellent uh, rugby this afternoon, unfortunately as far as I'm concerned, the Saints on the wrong end of a 21-11 scoreline the tackle looked a little bit high as he went through, Jonathan Griffiths going through the referee right on the job, gives Saints a penalty, but we're talking four minutes or less to the final whistle, 21-11 the score, and Danerton joint to the uh, men of the match for the Saints the sponsors and uh, the McEwans but it's 10 metres inside the Warrington half. John Harrison straightens it up. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's something uh, for Saints coach Eric used to build on, even though uh, a bitter defeat for the Saints. As I say, only won it, winning two of the last seven games, and now it's only going to be winning two of the last uh, eight games, isn't it? And those were close encounters. Hull KR here at home, 23-22, Mike McLennan's last match, 24-16. They beat Witness here on the 2nd of Jan and uh, earlier in the season, that's 16 each draw against Halifax. Also on Sky as well. Chipped over the top, Prescott's chasing it. Oh, he couldn't get a, a favourable bounce. Warrington allowed to... Uh, have they took the ball dead? Well, we couldn't see much of that, Bill, could we? A little bit of a catalogue of errors. Well chipped through. Prescott chased it. I think the Warrington man tied it up. And the ball... Uh, must have been taken dead and a drop out from between the sticks. Well, you've just described the St. Helens there as having a bitter defeat. I don't think I'd put that word on it. They've uh, worked tirelessly, performed well. Floats have come in, done a good job. But at Warrington Cars, after the heartbreaker against Wigan, which now seems like months ago, they've reached down, showed depth of character, battered leads, come here, have had one of those wins where uh, they've exceeded themselves without being exciting most of the time. They've worked tirelessly on defence. And have set it up for the visit of Oldham next week. St. Helens refusing to die, not throwing the towel in, and have been a credit to the game run. Well, it has been, it's been a credit to the game of rugby league, both sides, as McAtee looks for the gap, gets it away to Lachlan, now it's on to Pickervance, he chips it through for the corner. Well done. Well done. Touchdown over the line by uh, the left wing, Rob Myler. So under pressure again, Saints uh, trying to put on you, Brian, thanks very much. But... Uh, Saints putting Warrington under pressure, but uh, too late in the game. 21-11 the score. Less than two minutes remaining. And uh, in quick succession, Warrington having to drop out from between the sticks. Jonathan Davis. Pops it up. Chris Joint takes it well, and he'll go straight back at the wire defence. He moves it over to the left. Bob Jacks... Um, Mike Gregory, I beg your pardon, thinking of Bob Jackson, he's out injured, isn't he, uh, Billy? Been out for a while, yeah. and he's been a credit to the to the game the, with the with the wire. The Australian forward, Griffiths, onto Paul Lachlan, look very sharp. 
regained a bit of his confidence, or a lot of his confidence. McAtee drawing the man in, he feeds it to Pickavance. He backs into the defence, he still stood in the tackle. There's the final hooter. Bang on the 40 minute time, make it there. No stoppage time at all. But the final score here at St Helens is Saints 11. Take it with you. I'm not taking it. Saints 11, Warrington 21. 10 6 for the Saints at half time. Davis opened the scoring with a penalty goal in the second half after five minutes. Then an O'Donnell drop goal, 11 8. The game finally poised. Then a try by Myler, converted by Davis after a bit of a mix up after Davis had chipped through. Then a Gregory try after some good work again. Roland Phillips involved in both of those. And then a Davis drop goal eight minutes before the, the end. But a convincing win, really, for, uh, for the Wire Bill. Bitter defeat for the Saints, as I've said, but they have competed. It's been an excellent game for, for of rugby, hasn't it? Well, any sports fans who watch that, whether you like soccer, cricket, darts or whatever, you'd have to be impressed with those blokes, all of them. They have worked hard, some bigots have been supplied, the discipline was great, John Connolly's had a big afternoon. Superb advert for rugby league, whatever you're doing next Sunday afternoon. If you've ever been to a pro rugby league ground, get to one. You get value for money, there's not a club will turn you away. From Bill Stewartson, bye-bye from Nosley Road, here's Ron. Yes, thanks, Bill. And before we go, obviously, I mentioned to the match day mascot today, Sarah Hayes, six and a half years of age. She'll be disappointed at the results. And also a special mention for the Saints' youngest ever supporter. He was enrolled at five and a half years of age. Jack Barnes, born on the 4th of January this year. Best wishes from his dad, Richard, and also his mum, and from your Saints and Warrington uh, video outfit. Thanks for joining us. See you soon. Saints are at Lee next week. Let's hope that... Uh, Saints are not the first ones to go down under the Lee Kosh this season, the first actual two-pointer. So thanks for joining us. Final score here at Nosey Road, Saints 11, Warrington 21.